in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed in John 21, when Jesus resurrected, the Bible says he went by the seashore and he saw Peter. Hallelujah. And he called Peter and he said, Simon Peter, he said, lovest thou me more than this? Hallelujah. The secret of freedom in life is when you love the Lord. Don't just say love God. God means many things to many people. I have a trouble with those who like saying God. God is many things to many people. Hallelujah. God means a bottle of minerals to some people. God means shoes to some people. God means a pot to some people. God means an animal. Hallelujah. But we are not just saying God. No. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you. Tonight, just say, Lord, I love you. And I'm willing to live by your word. Authentic Christianity that lives by the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we just want to say thank you for the things that you are doing in our midst. Indeed, you reveal the deep things to them that love you. And Lord, we declare that we love you. That we love you from the depths of our heart. We are not just doing church. We are not just trying to get a ministry going. But we desire you. We desire you from the depths of our heart. Hallelujah. And we want to love you. I don't know about you, but I keep loving him every time he has become my life. If he strips me off ministry today, it will not affect my love for him. Is that your testimony? He is the air I breathe. You are the air I breathe Your holy presence Living in me Holy Spirit, thank you It's my daily bread it's my daily bread. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. Your very word. Your very word. Spoken to me. Shaba Shaba Larabo. And I. Ah! 
desperate and we are not ashamed of being desperate it's a matter of life and death we need you Lord hallelujah I need thee oh I need thee every hour I need thee, come bless me now, my Savior, I come to thee. Can you sing it with revelation? I need thee, oh, I need thee, every I need thee. Come bless me now, my Savior. Please help me take it. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. Just sing it unto him. Shiva Kapala Dabaka brother. Lord, we are not pretending this song. On Christ the solid rock. On Christ the solid rock. I stand all over the ground. He's sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Grounds of achievement, grounds of anointing, grounds of ministry, grounds of fame. This is my desire to honor you Lord beat on my heart I worship you see back up hombre and I give you praise. I give you praise. Everything that I adore, adore. He sees you. You're all that I adore. So I give you my heart. My soul. I give you my soul, Lord. I live for you. I live for you, oh Lord. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you. I live for you, for oh Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Refine us. 
Confession of truth, wherever you lead me, yeah. I hail you, Most High. I hail you, Most High.
Just the voices. Ah, 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 ah. Help me worship us. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. of your word and I will forever sing your praise listen to me I'm ministering to you his spirit opens to me the treasures of your word I will forever sing your praise and I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. I will forever sing your praise. Thank you, Lord, for the spirit of revelation. Your spirit. Me, the treasures of your word that's why your lord sing i will sing i will sing of the wonders of your word i will sing how for joy I will sing of the wonders and I will forever sing your praise. That's my desire, Lord. And I will forever sing your praise. 
and I will forever sing your praise. And I will forever sing your praise. I will and I will forever see bless him let him do what he wants to do the sound of thunder in my spirit the lightning and thunder that characterizes majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty. Just play the keyboard for me. The angel that stands before me. I saw him three years ago and he told me his name is Zion's help and I have not seen him in the last three years tonight I see this angel stand before me the helper of Zion and a vision is open before my eyes I see a lampstand, a golden lampstand. It's the kind of vision that 
Zechariah saw. The spirits of the prophets of old walk in this room. I sense that the prophet Jeremiah walks in this room. I sense it by the intuition of the spirit. I sense that Paul the apostle walks in this room. And the beloved of the most high John walks in this room. I'm about to chant prophetically. I don't do this many times. I do it when a heavy unction is upon me. Just clash the cymbals. I I am the Lord most high and I stand in the midst of you tonight say the spirit of the Lord for I am the Lord most high the captain of the armies of the Lord the captain of the armies of the Lord captain of the armies of the Lord I hear the sound of chariots chariots as of war chariots mighty chariots in the spirit mighty chariots and now I see them chariots of fire running as it were as a matter of urgency the northern army of the most high chariots of fire Come on, press. This is Koinonia tonight. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. Let every sound that you hear be of the Spirit. For you shall see the heavens open. And you shall see the angels ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Come go with me behind the veil Come go with me behind the veil Come go with me behind the veil Come go with me Come go with me Come go with me Come 
go with me. Come go with me. Come up here. Come up here. Behind the veil. Come up here. Come go with me. 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 Come go with me.
your presence. Majesty. 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 El Elion. Baruch Haba. Hashem Adonai. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. El Gibor, El Elion. The multi breasted one. Yes, Lord, we thank you. For you will make us all that you desire for us to be. We expose ourselves to the fullness of your glory. For behold, I give you a new name, say the Spirit of God. I give you a new name. for a minute or two in the glory even if you don't have anything to say your stillness in the glory will not leave you the same for his glory fills this place yes I know his glory fills this place and your eyes will see him Hallelujah. Lord, you are in our midst and we thank you. We are not worshipping one who is afar. One of the blessings of Koinonia is that you know that God is real. that you draw nigh and see the reality of this person that we worship. Something will always be activated in your spirit when you draw nigh to his presence. Tonight, this auditorium is full of heaven. Hallelujah. something about the presence of God listen nothing can replace the presence of God not eloquence not 
the head knowledge of scripture there is nothing that can replace the intimacy of the Holy Spirit oh, there is such a river in this place tonight such a river You'll never be the same. You may not know what the presence of God does to a man. The presence soaks and every fiber of your cell receives of that glorious presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we declare that we are the people who are serious with you. We mean business every time we show up. We're not interested in just having a form of godliness, but that we want to be so close to you. So close. The Bible says, and Enoch walked with God oh that you will know the passion in my heart for you to walk with the Holy Spirit that you will be a testament of what his presence can do if you will quit chasing healing and power and anointing you will find it all in his presence will find it in his presence Bible says blessed are they that hunger and thirst it didn't say blessed are they that eat blessed are they that hunger and thirst for they shall be filled Holy Spirit I love you with the whole of my heart you anointed me to reveal you to the world how can one reveal such an awesome person? The Paracletos, the standby, the advocate, the strengthener, the comforter, the one who makes men wonders, the governor of my father's kingdom. Who but you is able to do wonders? You are the eternal spirit of the living God. When the heavens and the earth were being created, you were there. The one who turned the word into flesh and planted him in the womb of a virgin. The one who anointed the apostles and the prophets of old. The one who walks with koinonia. The secret of the grace. The secret of the impact. The secret. The one the Bible calls the blessing. Holy Spirit, beyond tongues. Beyond gifts that you will reveal yourself to your people this platform is supposed to draw men and women into a depth of intimacy if we do not know you what message do we have to the world Lord we don't want to join many people just making noise we do not want to talk about a God we do not know That he will help us know the word. That he will help us know Jesus. For when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you in all truth. He will teach you. All scripture was inspired by him. He is the Holy Ghost. The blessed third person of the trinity who 
who reveals Jesus to the church. And it is in partnership with him that the bride can say come. It's only the spirit and the bride that tells the word to come. For your awesome presence we thank you. Sickness cannot stand in his presence. Demonic oppression cannot stand. Everything that does not look like heaven cannot stand. This is the secret of freedom and you shall intercourse with the truth and the product of that intercourse is freedom thank you thank you holy spirit i am nothing without you i know this absolutely nothing without you koinonia is nothing without you ENI is nothing without you. Our gifts are only empty gongs without you. Our knowledge of scripture is vain without your breath. You are the only one who can cause true transformation in the hearts of men. Tonight we are yielding to you. And we are walking in your love. Blessed Holy Spirit. You are not a wind. You are not a bird. You're not fire. You're not a candlestick. You are God. You are a real person that seeks to be known. Oh Lord, that you cause our eyes to see you and know you. That the product of our intimacy with you will cause us to shake the world. Thank you. Just one minute, I like it to just say, Holy Spirit, my heart is open. Just pray a prayer in one minute. You must be an unbeliever to be in this kind of presence and not be open to the Spirit. He's seeking a generation of men with whom he can use. You don't need to be qualified, you just need to be available. What we have done tonight is so vital to our spiritual growth. For this is the rest and the refreshing. This is what prayer is. get another handkerchief I'll be glad if I can have one hallelujah listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something God desires men and women who will be vessels that will carry his glory thank you it's not looking for preachers there are enough preachers in Zaria. There are enough preachers in Nigeria. Apostles, prophets. Teachers. There are many people who want to walk for God. But very few people want to walk with Him. God is seeking men who will walk with him and know him. Can I tell you something? If you will pay the price to know him, he will make your life an awesome wonder. I cannot tell you this enough. He's not lying. If you will pay the price to take him seriously, 
if you stop chasing after many things and seek you you will find everything you need Please be seated. God bless you. Well, thank you, Lord, for your presence. If you don't have his presence, listen to me. Sorry for those of you standing. Hallelujah. You can sit anywhere you want to sit, please. If you want to sit on stage and you think you're comfortable and you will not be ashamed, come on. Hallelujah. There are a few chairs here. I don't know if we can help the people. Just keep it anywhere, all right? We are excellent people, but not foolish people. When the presence of God is there, let people just sit. If you want to sit on the floor, remove your shoes. Keep it on the floor and sit down. Take the seat and give them, you know, if you cannot sit on the floor that's where we were before we came here there's carpet in the auditorium don't break the stools please make sure you don't break the stools see his glory I see his glory I see his glory come down hallelujah I believe that there are four things that the Holy Spirit is emphasizing to the body of Christ please let me have your attention I believe that there are four things that the Spirit of God there are chairs here please come sit down just sit anywhere sit here the choir people are standing so some of you come and sit if you want to make yourself comfortable don't feel afraid don't feel intimidated we need to get the word into you just sit anywhere scatter yourselves around be very comfortable don't feel intimidated at all we're not so organized as to organize God out of our meeting hallelujah I believe that every true ministry that listens to the voice of the Holy Spirit should be emphasizing four things number one the ministry of the Holy Spirit there is a need for the revelation of the person of the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ the spirit filled life the spirit led life hallelujah this is one of the major emphasis of the Holy Spirit in this season the spirit filled life that's why we teach on the ministry of the Holy Spirit we teach on yielding to the spirit because the Bible says it is they that are led by the spirit they are the sons of God. Hallelujah. So the spirit filled life. The revelation of the Holy Spirit is the greatest secret we will need for the journey ahead. That's why we teach you about staying filled. We teach about tongues and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Yielding to the anointing. Yielding to the spirit. We teach you on discernment flowing in the gift of the spirit that aspect that dimension of teaching must be emphasized in the body number two is the kingdom life as a second emphasis i believe that the holy spirit is bringing to the body the kingdom life that you understand the structure and the build up of the kingdom you understand the nature and the character of the king you understand the power of the kingdom he said for thine is the kingdom the power of that kingdom 
and the glory of that kingdom so we need an emphasis of the teaching of the kingdom we need to know the principles please if you are writing write this this is so important the principles of the kingdom there is no hope for any Christian in the days to come who does not understand the principles of the kingdom I assure you there is no hope you can be born again but you will receive a root shock number three leadership leadership this is an emphasis that the body of Christ must receive the principles of leadership do you realize that the fivefold ministry was first an administrative leadership position even before individual ministries the church of Christ needs leaders we need leaders we have men of God we have very few leaders we need leaders the job of leaders is to lead God's people hallelujah the difference between a leader and a boss is this a boss tells you go and do it but a leader create patterns with his life the word leader comes from the word lead hallelujah we need leaders in the body of Christ not noisemakers leaders men who understand the principles of kingdom leadership the ability to guide the body and help them harness their potentials and prepare them as the army of God this will take an understanding of leadership there are very few people there are very few teachings in the body of Christ on leadership that's why we have a lawless body because there are no leaders listen can I tell you something the first leader in the Bible failed and that's what is costing the world trouble today the first leader was Adam God gave him Eve and the garden to take care of failure in leadership can cost a generation are you listening to me Nigeria is suffering today not because there are no mineral resources is failure in leadership every time a system fails god attacks the leaders that's why the bible says strike the shepherd satan does not need to strike the sheep strike the shepherd and the sheep the word shepherd is the word pastor strike the leaders if you have blind and insensitive leaders what do you expect a blind and insensitive congregation hallelujah if you have carnal and self-driven leaders listen the, the 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 issue of leadership is very important because the anointing that flows from the people oftentimes comes as an overflow of that which god gives the leaders and can i tell you something the spirit of a leader can be corrupt you can receive an anointing for healing from a leader at the same time receive the spirit of lust that's why a leader transfers the overflow of what he has are you listening to me this is the reason why leaders will be judged very strictly by God because you you cannot transfer a wrong spirit to God's people hallelujah the church of Christ is confused today because of the teachings they have received from all kinds of people sometimes people send text messages to me and say sir a man of god said this and when when of course i understand everybody has areas we are still pressing towards perfection but there are certain teachings that have misled the body one sermon can lead a whole congregation into error one sermon you know why because a leader stands as a mentor as a model as a pattern so people want to become like who they see and then many people do not understand the burden of leadership we only know the glory of leadership that you must there are some things in your life that may not matter but are not necessary because you are a leader 
hallelujah we need kingdom leaders in the body we have many pastors we have many people we don't need more people raising crutches we have many but what we need is patterns number four the fourth emphasis of the holy spirit that i believe that god is communicating is on the issue of financial prosperity hallelujah it's very very important without money you cannot finance the gospel without money souls will be saved souls will not be saved without money people will die hungry hallelujah one of the greatest successes of satan before now is to mislead the body to trivialize the importance of finances Zechariah chapter 1 verse 17 hey, I'm not teaching on finances I'm just showing you the four emphasis to the point that every time a sermon is raised over finances we close ourselves with some religious feeling as though we are just heaven and all of that but anything that is not taught the body will not have faith for it and if they do not have faith for it they will not get it listen to me i am concerned about the finances of people because i have passion for it i am very concerned about the hundreds of graduates that will be getting out of abu in the next few weeks many of you are already afraid you don't even know what else to do with your life hallelujah I heard of someone who changed his resolve to go for NYSE two times so that he can get the allowance. You may laugh about it now. It looks silly. Hallelujah. There are more ladies going into prostitution every day. Tongue-talking ladies. Some of them were leaders in their fellowships. There are more armed robbers every day ravaging our cities killing people maiming people there are more jobless people every day the record is increasing there is desperate need it has slowed down the advancement of the kingdom of god preachers have become beggars on stage every message now is money 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 you know why because there is no money everything in the church has become money there's no time to build the body again because the truth is there are needs are you listening to me there are needs the men of god want to take care of their wives and their children you want to be blessed you want to get to a point one day where you can drive a car and then not have rain and can i tell you something no matter how you pretend not to care about it a day will come you will care about it are you listening to me one of the greatest deceits of satan is to make the church trivialize this this is the fourth emphasis of the holy spirit if we continue embracing poverty we will run into trouble there is going to be big disaster that is coming i assure you i assure you i know more people who have lost their salvation as a result of poverty than as a result of satan i know more ladies who have slept with managers and directors go to a shrine and ask the native doctor what is the highest need that they are meeting him for money we trivialize it we talk as if it's not an issue but then we run into trouble our parents have become slaves to all kinds of prophets today they come to our house your house make your father to sit down like a fool with all the knowledge he has had just because they want we want money this is august and the federal government has not released allocation and our parents are crying and it's affecting you 
the guy you said no to in January, you are considering saying yes to him tomorrow because of your project. More harm will be done to the body of Christ if we do not embrace the blessings of the Lord and see the need for it. You're seated here tonight by the grace of God. You're getting blessed by the keyboard, the projector. There's nothing here that is free except the venue. So it is very important that you align with this emphasis of the spirit. Do not ever let Satan deceive you and say you are young or say I'm spiritual. My own is just heaven. You will run into more trouble than you can imagine. Prosperity gives you focus. Are you listening to me? When you are prosperous, you can focus. There are many of us, our prayer request is just money, 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 money. You go to pray for six hours and come in as if you were praying for the nations. You were crying for money. Hallelujah. There is nothing that discourages the faith of believers like money issues. Even healing does not discourage people like that. Do you know Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church? Because if you are healed, you are healed for yourself. But when you are blessed, you are blessed for others. Hallelujah. So this is the fourth emphasis of the Holy Spirit. And it's important very important that we give it careful ear. The Bible says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. These four go hand in hand. Listen, whenever one is emphasized above another, there will be trouble. Are you listening to me? When you emphasize the Holy Spirit and anointing and power above the principles and the character of the kingdom, above leadership above the ministry of the blessings of god there will be trouble at a point because when everybody is hungry to lay hands on everybody in your congregation you will need to rewrite the book of first corinthians this was the catastrophe that made paul to write first corinthians everybody was flowing in the gift of the spirit throwing everybody on the floor and paul said hold on we need to explain this and it took chapters 12 13 14 to explain the order and the operation of the spirit if you teach everybody on character the kingdom character and the kingdom now people know how to go and greet those who are mourning to greet those who have problems but you're not going to have a supernatural generation and that's a big problem because satan will soon sit in front of your congregation and help you run your service and then without leadership there will never be a means of training and raising people Moses was an uncommon leader. Hallelujah. And then without prosperity, one day you come for koinonia and you just see everybody standing outside and you say, what's the problem? They say, you are going to stand today. Why? You say, are we not giving offering? <laughs> Hallelujah. Say, I receive all that God has for me. By the time you get to 30 years and you're about to get married and you find out that there's no money, there's no hope of renting a house, your emphasis in the spirit will change. The things that used to matter to you will no longer matter. You'll be surprised that you are sitting down and thinking and saying, Oh Lord, your father is asking you, he say you have been going to church since you were 21. What is the fruit you have to show for it? We are dying here. I'm not praying in tongues. You are praying in tongues, but I'm better than you. Yes, there's no relevance of your going to church. And this is what we do not want in the body. There must be fruit. Are you listening to me? That they are driving your father out of the house and then you step in and tell them there is no problem. There is grace. And you can salvage your family from misery. There are many of our loved ones who have not been able to go to school today some of you are the only ones who were sent by your family members see if you don't have an assignment you don't need prosperity you really don't need it but when there is an assignment you desperately need the provision of god hallelujah thank you jesus tonight very quickly i'll just show you something and we'll pray 
Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. I had a dream this morning that changed my message. I'll not share the dream because of time. Verse 6. I want to teach us a very big secret that God has shown me in my life. And please, I want you to take it seriously. It's a powerful revelation and it's a very, very big secret. It's one of the biggest secrets of ENI. It's one of the biggest secrets of Koinonia. It's one of the biggest secrets of my life. And I'm happy that I'm having to teach it now. See, please look up, especially for those who are preachers, who have churches and fellowships here. Can I tell you something? Every time you begin to, don't just teach your members anything you want to teach. There is a pattern that you raise people such that they become strong. Are, are you listening to me? If you carry your trouser and try to put it like shirt, are you dressing well? But is trouser required for good dressing? Are you listening to me? So it's not enough to have rema and have revelation. You must understand the order of that structure. The Bible says, ensure, speaking to Moses, that the house is built according to pattern. So it's not enough. There are certain teachings that are dangerous for believers until you have established them in certain truth. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, laying aside these basic doctrines of the laying on of hands and of baptisms and all of these things. When you are building a people, you must build them. When you were in primary school, they built you gradually. Is that correct? When you are spelling, they put H-S dash and then they say fill in the blank. That was a way of building you. When you were doing mathematics, when you say 1 minus 2, they write equal to, then they create a big box for you. And you write it cannot. And you took first. They gave you price. When you come to from 1 or from 2, if they ask you 1 minus 2 and you say it cannot, you are going to get 0. Because they will teach you a new topic called what? Number line. I follow me now this is how it is in the spirit so we have lopsided growths in the body a believer who just got born again you are teaching him something he cannot even connect with are you following me now he cannot relate with what you are teaching him and so you see the man of god struggling but the people are not growing hallelujah then you get to a point where the people who are supposed to be walking are big children who are still crawling hallelujah paul was surprised when at a certain time the church ought to have been matured but they were still babes in the things of god and so there is need for constructive building hallelujah it's dangerous to teach people for instance on prosperity until you've taught them on purpose are you listening to me if you have not taught people on purpose and their assignment teaching people on wealth and prosperity will destroy them because the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them and that's what we have going on in the body if you teach people on the miraculous without teaching them on salvation and the priorities of god and the eternal counsel of god where is the church going to you will produce a bunch of hungry people who are looking for anybody to lay hands on have you seen all those kind of childish people around everybody just has anointing and calls you and says now i'm going to speak and the power of god will move and then you see somebody moving and I say i'll touch the person with one finger those people have been taught wrongly when they teach you that the purpose of the anointing is not just for show are you listening to me then you are being built according to pattern when you teach somebody on relationship and marriage without teaching the person on purpose that's a disaster now the person is going out with the lady one day you will turn and look at her and say what are we even doing confusion sets in because without vision the people perish are you listening to me you want to have a child without understanding the purpose of fatherhood the purpose of parenting see the body of christ there are courses that you study in the university you call it something 101 is that correct you study that's not all to it but that's all you need to know at that point 
you will meet it again maybe two or three hundred level as a continuation because it's expected that before that time you would have built on certain knowledge when you meet it you will now appreciate it are you listening to me no matter how brilliant a student is he cannot write project in hundred level even if he gets five points are you listening to me that's what happens in the body you just see somebody who got bored again two weeks now you make the person a pastor and he gets up he doesn't even know what ministry is about the person just gets up and his dream is just to get suits and he starts calling forth suits from every member and doing all kinds of things there is need for constructive building hallelujah so that we can understand what the spirit is doing i tell you something the building that is going on in this place is not haphazard topic after topic building after building sometimes you see us shift emphasis on character sometimes we shift emphasis on the anointing sometimes we shift emphasis on the kingdom sometimes we shift emphasis on the blessings of the lord prosperity and all of this we take a series on it sometimes you keep seeing us shift emphasis this is to be able to build believers so that you don't have a believer with a big head and a small body or a big hand to collect money and lack of discernment we need a the bible says the fivefold ministry was given not just to raise members that what the body will come into the fullness of the stature of the measure of christ hallelujah are you listening to me so very quickly i'll talk on something tonight i don't know what the topic will be let's call it grace grace zechariah chapter 4 i want to teach you on the dimension of god called the grace of god it's not really a teaching it's an exhortation just to touch your heart verse 6 and he answered and spake unto me saying this is the word of the lord to zerubbabel saying let's read together not by nor but by my spirit saith the lord look up not by what nor by hallelujah not by might not by power but by my spirit i think this congregation is matured enough to now receive the teachings of grace the trouble with the grace message that i've always had is that you do not teach the believers the place of kingdom responsibility when you teach people the message of grace without understanding kingdom responsibility you are going to produce a lazy church because grace will look like a license for everything are you listening to me but when you teach people and bring them to the place of responsibility then the message of grace becomes useful can i tell you something there is a factor in the life of every believer called grace grace means unmerited access uncommon favor write it unmerited access uncommon favor access that you do not deserve result beyond your ability beyond your prayer life beyond your fasting life beyond your knowledge of the word there is a provision in the structure of the kingdom for a believer to step into more than he can do it's called the grace of god he said not by power not by might but by my spirit it says who are thou mountain verse 7 oh great mountain see look at me there are two ways in scripture that mountains can be moved one is by faith hallelujah if thou shalt say the operation of the word of god if thou shalt say unto this mountain be thou what removed and cast into the sea but here god is showing us another key in the spirit that equally moves mountain he said who art thou mountain before zerubbabel he said before zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain hmm. He said and he shall bring forth the headstone in it with shoutings of what grace grace 
you get to a point in your life brothers and sisters where you will know that you need an extra factor beyond all that you know how to do you know that there are certain realms if you are to step into in the spirit it's going to be beyond your prayer life beyond your word life are you listening to me beyond you that's where the grace of god comes in hallelujah and when you understand that there is this provision in the body then it makes you appreciate god and it comforts you are you listening to me when he was talking to the church in revelation he said i know that you have little strength he said i know i am aware that your strength is small i am aware that you are trying to make sure that you walk in the reality of the righteousness of god are you listening to me isn't it comforting to know that god is aware i am aware that although you are stubborn you are making efforts to change i am aware that you are making efforts to love me there are habits you want to stop god is saying i am aware there is a factor called the grace of god paul speaking in second corinthians can we turn there very quickly second corinthians chapter 15 from verse 9 and 10 second corinthians chapter 15 this is what paul has to say about his ministry sorry first corinthians that's a second first corinthians chapter 15. please catch this revelation tonight verse 9 i believe this is also my testimony are you ready verse 9 let's read one to read for i am the least of the apostles that I am not fit to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. Stop. Paul is saying, look, you esteem me and call me a great apostle. Yes, I pray in tongues more than ye all. Yes, I do all of these things. But Paul is saying, can I tell you the truth? There is a factor in my life I will not hide from you. It's called the grace of God. Paul said, if it were by qualification, I am the least of the apostles. You know why? Because when the other apostles were working with Jesus Christ, he was busy. Are you listening to me? There are some of you that where you are today is the grace of God. You got born again two years and you left somebody when you were drinking palm wine. The people who came to preach to you, you are the one who is getting them filled with the Holy Ghost right now. When they were stoning Stephen, Paul was still Saul. He was the one who sat down and they put the clothes. The people were angry, they removed their clothes. So that concept of removing clothes before fighting was in the Bible. It's a spirit. They removed their clothes and Paul said, bring it here, I'll protect it for you. You must kill this guy. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Let's hear what he has to say in verse 10. He said, but... Oh, I thought they were projecting it. But by the grace of God, are you there? By the unmerited access, by the favor of God, I am what I am. Listen, he said, and his grace which was bestowed on me was not in vain. You see where the maturity of teaching comes in. He said, in that I labored more than ye all. He said, yet, yet, because there are other people that labored more than me yet brothers and sisters can i tell you something i have seen more people that i've seen people that pray more than me i know people who do vigils at least two times in a week have you seen ministries like that i've seen ministries that fast and run marathon fastings for months i've seen pastors and men of god that go around and beg they beg God, they cry, they do everything. Sometimes when people send me text messages, I say, what is the secret of the anointing upon your life? Listen, when I saw Jesus Christ, I was not praying. Are you listening to me? I tell you sincerely from my heart, he just appeared to me by grace. Are you listening to me? The anointing that I walk in today, I don't know if 
I'm to quantify all my prayer life and my word life if it will equate what I'm walking in today. How many of you have seen God do things in your life that at the end of it, after people clap for you, you go back and you want to run away from the results you are receiving because you know that there must be another factor in that equation. Hallelujah. There are many of you who have you are not faithful in typing yet you don't have any financial need whatsoever it's called the grace of god are you listening to me other people start reading you resume half of the semester and you get 4.1 and somebody who had collected the handout before that semester the lecturer says is their neighbor they give him the full course the grace of god are you listening to me somebody did malpractice in your presence you did everything the person got e you got a with all the malpractice the grace of god paul said i am what i am hear me saints of god there is a provision in the body to help the journey of a believer not to replace your operation of the of the of of, of, of the kingdom are you listening to me grace is not supposed to produce a lazy congregation so why do i need to pray why do i need to fast why do i need to stay with god's word when i can tap into a provision called grace if i can sit down without preparing a sermon and god will step in are you listening to me if i can do anything and come out guiltless why do i need the grace of god when you understand the grace of god you would think it's a license to disobey god that's why paul said hold on as i'm teaching you this grace message let me balance it shall we continue in sin that grace may abound because there are many erroneous messages today that stemmed out of the revelation of grace can i tell you something friends what you see in koinonia you know that is the grace of god hallelujah the grace of god it's not because the things you hear may sometimes not be spectacular however it is the grace of god when you look at the worship team you see the grace of god when you look at everything that is happening you see the grace of god the unmerited favor unmerited access paul said look i need to tell you people something i am what i am by the grace of god listen i know men of god who to get a little result a little result they will have to the kind of result that you see and trivialize in koinonia here i know how they have to travel in the spirit and press as if they are going to die and they step into a meeting and if five people fall under the anointing they go back happy it's a reward for 40 days prayer and fasting yet you come and stand on the stage and you just say lord i bless your name and you see people listen the grace of god there is a factor are you listening to me if you get so walk conscious that you forget that there is a factor that is supposed to push you the grace of god is an exclusive act of his sovereignty are you listening to me an exclusive act of his sovereignty god does it so that no man can boast sometimes when you apply too much principles and you do things it's easy for you to think it is because of what i am doing then god surpasses what you have done and tells you can you account for this one now and you know that this is but the grace of god hallelujah there are many of you before you had certain revelations there are people praying and organizing seminars on hearing god but before you were born again you were already seeing angels your eyes was already been opened to the realm of the spirit hallelujah what spiritual principle is responsible for that the grace of god are you listening to me what i'm sharing right now as trivial as it is there are many congregations that if the minister is talking like this you see people just carrying their bible and frowning and leaving and the person is discouraged he's saying what i'm saying is it not making sense Yet another person comes up and he can sit down and be cracking jokes. And as he's cracking jokes, hundreds and thousands of people are trooping in and they're laughing. How do you explain that? Brothers and sisters, there is a mystery in the spirit. 
there are it's not everything that can be explained one of it is the grace of god the grace of god this has been a revelation god taught me every time i prepare for a meeting when i finish i say lord i don't even know what your standard is for this meeting talk more of saying i have prepared enough but i know i beckon how many of you have been sitting in your room and people came that you need to teach them you didn't pray you didn't prepare that one is grace and you start talking and you check and you, you are four hours you are even jotting the revelations you are bringing how many of you have been counseling certain people and the depth of insight that comes you start comparing scriptures to scripture and at the end of it you are like ah, ah. even you you are surprised you know you can't repeat what you just did again that's why if you are talking you you just talk as if you are answering a call you quickly put your phone on record because you know it may never come again are you seeing the grace of God at work in your life? A lecturer is giving everybody F. You just walk to the person's office and he looks at you. Not because he wants anything in return. He just says, all right, we'll do something about your result. You come out and you see D. Or E or upgrade everything or C or something. And you just look and you are surprised. Your handwriting is so bad yet no lecturer has ever insulted you for it. You still get A somebody writes a very neat nice handwriting and gets one for it and still gets e or, or c the grace of god do you know there is a factor many people don't know that there is this factor in ministry see this is the secret of sweatless ministry sweatless ministry you live your life understanding that no matter how weak you get there is a hand to hold so you don't abuse the grace of God by not performing your responsibility. But you know that every time you get to the end of the road, there is a hand to hold you. When you walk in that consciousness, the day you step out and you see somebody, that day you were not prepared, in quote, and then you just step out and there's a Bible study in your house and they say, uh, we have a woman of God abigail she's going to be exhorting us and that's the person announcing to you that you preach now you are contemplating where do i start from and the whole scripture goes blank let me tell you what used to happen to me when i started out in ministry sometimes i would prepare a message very nice message even me i'll admire what i prepare five minutes to the stage the whole thing will go blank i can't even remember one scripture again i said come on lord don't play with me and now they are saying we have in our midst is a rare privilege all the way from Zaria. I don't know if you celebrate the anointing. While they are saying that, you are struggling by yourself. You are saying, Lord, the first scripture I planned that I'll give has disappeared. And when you come up, suddenly you don't even know what to do. Then an unction come upon you. Suddenly you begin. Can I tell you something? If you meet me outside Koinonia, I cannot quote half of the scriptures I quote on stage. I assure you i only quote scriptures i can quote chapters of scripture when the grace of god comes on me it's not something i learned i don't know how it works till today the moment i handle this mic suddenly it's like the bible is open up to me that's why someone can be on stage and say there's somebody here you have headaches yeah me me that i've been praying in tongues i'm the cell leader let them know I have headache. Then when the person drops down, you just run and come. That person's faith may be small. You just lay hands on you and you even be angry because you know nothing happened. There is grace and unction. Are you listening to me? Unmerited access. Unmerited access. Doors that are closing for others suddenly open up for you. Oh, we have enjoyed this in ENI. The grace of God. This auditorium that we are using by grace we have never had to pay one naira one naira brothers and sisters it is the grace of God I'm giving you all these testimonies to give God praise are you listening to me I shared with you where we went to Lagos and a plot of land was given to us in Lekki how do you explain that how do you explain that somebody is busy walking up all the principles of prosperity he knows 
somebody just gets somebody's prayer request at a platter of gold a lady is fasting and praying very pretty lady for a husband one other lady who has been a prostitute for years just gives her life to christ and somebody just says you are the one i'll marry no matter what happens they say oh open your eyes are you blind you say i know i will still marry like that the grace of god hallelujah you go for an interview and you have third class you are even ashamed they say which school did you go to you say a guy went to school none of your business where i went to <laughs> no ask me useless questions yeah you are not the person giving me the job all kinds of first class students are making noise suddenly they look at you and there is something they say you come where are you from give me your paper and then let me tell you something i began to see the grace of god in my life in a very fearful way the things that people would do are not excelling i would come and walk upon it as if it's not an issue and one day god told me it's the grace of god are you listening to me unmerited access i share with you these testimonies if the ministers will share with you everybody has fearful testimonies of the grace of god many of you were here when cbn came to zaria to come and run an interview for us i don't know anybody in cbn aside from one of our members from jack there are many people passing we don't even have none of the ministers here has a complimentary card there are many people they have printed more complimentary cards than those who produce tracks but nobody has called them for administration but a man of god will be sitting down quietly and your phone is ringing and people come and say please we want you to come and bless us do you not see that this is grace the grace of god hallelujah the grace of god the favor of god paul said i am what i am by the grace of god koinonia is what it is today by the grace of almighty god there are people who hold programs on campus they even write it on the poster there will be free food now i don't say this of course you understand my heart i'm just trying to show you the grace of god there will be free food come yet at the end of it after two hours you just see somebody stroll and say sorry is this here they are holding this rosé we are sharing the grace when the grace of god when you tap into that dimension <laughs> one man of god has a ministry the name is grace dimension hallelujah when you tap into this grace are you listening to me brothers and sisters you will get more than you can ever imagine young man off your phone listen look at me hello please off your phone hmm? or go outside and answer it or put it on silent hallelujah the grace of god i know ministries and churches that have every kind of excellence you can imagine hallelujah and every member they see they snap the person because they may never see the person again they have used all kinds of publicity publicity principle including forcing you in your house they come and meet you in your house and say we are we are the evangelism unit of this ministry please you are going to come there is evening fellowship you must come to our house yet you look at another person and yet you see the increase of god hallelujah You look at a man of god on tv who is preaching and you cannot even hear him clearly you can't hear him clearly yet you turn and see the way people are so open to receive you see the loyalty of people to that grace and you say is it that this guy went to the, the, there's there's a man who speaks in, in tv every time <laughs> every time i watch the man i almost laugh it's so funny very very funny i, I can't even hear what he says sometimes yet that guy you cannot explain what it is there's one baba that that is on air honestly speaking when that guy finishes talking you just know that okay you were in a service and people bless you but even you you will not know what to bring you back the grace of god have you not seen people 
taking business proposals well dressed with their tie as they are entering they say go out walk out just don't and you see the person and then you see somebody goes with his jeans and they're even telling him ah but button up now look at your trouser and eh, come and then they give him the job how do you explain certain things i'm teaching you this dimension because you need to activate it in your life there is this operation of the spirit called the unmerited access hallelujah i am what i am by the grace of god he said although this grace was not showered on me in that i labored more than ye all yet it is not i but the grace of god if you do not listen if you are going to work for every single thing you want to get in this life get said to die there is a factor called the dimension of god's grace that comes upon you hallelujah at every time we have a need a serious need and an urgent need god will always raise help us by the grace of god every time by the grace of god hallelujah we have never we have never we i i believe that we have one of the best workforce in this city in koinonia i say it with all humility the diligence of these people you wonder and say okay what are they giving you have you not seen churches that they call they say we even pay you salary we'll pay you there is an operation of god's grace that can work in your life listen i have seen men of god who walk in depths of revelation depths of revelation depths of revelation and yet every time you see these people you never you 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 sometimes you you are just broken and you say lord i give you all the praise the grace of god what his grace can do other people are trying certain things trying again and again and you just step in never take for granted when you see certain ease in your life is grace the day god takes away that grace you will be shocked hallelujah i have never struggled to flow in the spirit sometimes when i hear people with all due respect in tv teaching different ways to flow in the anointing i'm not aware of what they are talking about i really cannot even understand it's very complicated have you not seen many schools of the prophets they gather people who want to be prophets and you see how hard they make it immediately they finish you come and stand here then you try and prophesy what are you seeing you say not yet they say we all activate it somebody comes from the wilderness with no teaching whatsoever suddenly begins to see the names of people on everybody's head how do you explain that are you listening to me have you have you not seen some preachers that didn't go to school they don't have anything never read any concordance yet when you hear them you know that this insight is not from a man it must have been from god hallelujah a man is sitting down and moving you who loves god you are trying and say lord please appear for me and then he doesn't appear to you and one drunkard as he's taking the last beer then he sees jesus he says why are you doing this to me you are saying lord is this fear is this fair i'm shouting there I'm, I'm shouting in my room 10 days prayer and fasting now somebody just finished or someone who just finished cain listen we, people are crying about the voice of god cain killed his brother and had the voice of god he just finished killing his brother and he had the voice of god cain he said am i my brother's keeper if you hear the voice of god you say lord i thank you it's such a privilege but Cain said, am I my brother's keeper? In other words, to hell with your voice. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Say after me, the grace of God. Jesus. Giving me more that I deserve. The grace of God. When you believe in that and you activate it in your life. Before I got to know many principles on leadership or ministry 
on finances on all of these things i was stepping into other blessings already when i knew these principles i knew i didn't obey them so i wonder why certain anointings came the grace of god are you listening to me there is that provision for a believer where you activate the grace there are people who don't pray every day they don't do anything yet they never fall sick they don't rebuke any devil for anything they are staying in a in in a room with somebody who is a witch yet the witch never ever thinks of doing anything to the person you are not doing anything you are loved by everybody you look for trouble right now somebody is dressing well they are not looking at the person you you don't dress well and people are rushing to help you fix the dressing well and the person who is dressing well is saying look at me at least grace the grace of god i am what i am he said not by power not by might are you listening to me now you will get to that point in your life where it is the grace of god that will continue the journey Are you listening to me a ministry can sit down and be saying okay let's contribute and raise money for land and somebody is sitting down and members have not even come for the ministry yet somebody will come and give him 10 hectares of land how do you explain that brothers and sisters a father and a mother are sitting down quietly in their house and empty and comes to beg them and say we want to put a mast are you listening to me you have read every business book you know how to read someone is sitting and they come to put a mass and they say no we will rent our land and now they begin to rent it three hundred thousand every month for the rest of their lives are you listening to me you just finish school and even before you finish a woman meets you and says uh i'm going to be commissioner come you'll be my personal assistant and now you are saying ma i don't know anything you say no problem i'll give you the appointment and they'll train you i want i want you to begin to step in this level of grace i don't like giving my testimonies because i i always like jesus christ alone being glorified but if i share with you some testimonies it will humble you that's why i always like jesus christ being exalted the grace of god hallelujah can i tell you something how does this grace come although it is a gift one of the things that the body is not taught is how this grace comes and how it is multiplied do you know that this grace can be multiplied the bible tells us that grace and peace be multiplied unto us he said how through the knowledge hallelujah the coming of this grace happens as god's gift to you but the multiplication of this grace is your reward for knowing god every time you press into god he leaves you with the reward of that grace otherwise your pursuit for god is useless what will be the difference between you and somebody who is not seeking god are you listening to me the presence of god is the key to multiplied grace he said grace and peace be multiplied unto you how through the knowledge so as i press towards god as you come here one of the consolations of seeking god is that you walk in increased grace have you seen somebody come out of the presence of god and you just look at the person and you like to share your food with the person you even like the person you are driving everybody from your room but the person comes and says i'm looking for a room before the person finishes, said please i want you to come and stay here hallelujah you are struggling looking for room someone will click room of two and come and present it to somebody as a gift in your presence the grace of god grace and peace say it after me grace and peace is multiplied as i seek to know more of god 
this is the part that is not taught believers so we just sit down and say grace grace you can have a measure of grace but you can let me show you show you a scripture we'll soon round up quickly second peter chapter one verse two second peter sorry Aaron, i'm i'll still use you don't run hallelujah second peter chapter one if you are there say amen verse two grace and peace be multiplied unto you amplified through the knowledge through the knowledge so the more of god that you know he will leave you with this residue of grace as a testimony that you truly seek him hallelujah so you can grow in grace you can get to a point where you become a fearful wonder this is one of the greatest secrets of koinonia listen we concentrate on seeking god you know why the bible says seek first the kingdom and all other things because as you seek the kingdom that symbol of his grace will compel things to follow you as busy as we are we never try to let things occupy the place of his presence because that's the place of grace grace appears as unction grace appears as insight grace appears as the compelling power of the spirit grace appears as prosperity grace appears as the blessings of god grace and peace i'm teaching you a big secret through the knowledge suddenly you see that you are coming out of the presence of god and men seek to bless you men seek to bless you can i tell you something with all humility there is no 24 hour that passes that somebody does not bless me i say it truly every day of my life every day of my life every day of my life including today grace and peace is multiplied through the knowledge through the knowledge through the knowledge grace makes life easy for you because you step into the blessings of the lord you step into the peace of the lord the word grace and peace that peace there is shalom prosperity grace the favor of god be multiplied unto you brothers and sisters can i tell you something when you begin to walk in this grace you will be afraid of yourself because the results you will begin to command will make you afraid it's not because of your age it's not because of your status are you listening to me if they ask you why and you can explain it it's not yet grace if it is grace you will lack an explanation you will lack an explanation I truly know that God anointed me by grace the dimensions of the spirit that he brings sometimes I'm as amazed as the people looking the miracles that come as I'm, I'm as amazed as the people hallelujah my job is to seek his presence to seek him and suddenly I turn back and I see that there is a new level of grace it didn't say grace be added he said grace be multiplied two times four is two times two is what two times three is what two times four is what multiplication suddenly you look at a man and you see the grace of god upon his life in a way that you cannot explain the grace of god appears as increased wisdom the grace of god appears as increased insight you're just sitting down the scriptures open up unto you you cannot explain you cannot even explain how the scripture got open suddenly you begin to walk in unusual insights you begin to walk in levels of the anointing that you cannot explain suddenly you step into i know many prosperous people who don't know many business rules they don't even know how they got into their blessing that's why they can't teach it they tell you go to someone else to teach you honestly there are things today i cannot teach you i'll be a bad teacher if i teach you because i got it entirely by grace other people can make noise about it but for me oh my own came absolutely by grace that's why when people are talking i just keep quiet because i know my own is grace hallelujah 
I was sitting when someone came from Mina with a letter. They are organizing a minister's conference. Most of the prominent ministers in this country will be meeting in, in, in Mina. Hallelujah. And he just brought a letter that our church argued for one week that you are going to be the speaker. I said, how do you explain this? You want to teach people who, are, who gave birth to ministries that trained me and built me? How do, what do you say? It's called grace. It's not ministry experience. This one is grace. When you have the opportunity to teach your fathers, it's called what? Grace. 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 Please, I want you to believe this. Grace. Hallelujah. I got a call some days ago and the person called me and he said are you joshua selman i said yes he said koinonia he said yes he said i listened to one of your message he said the lord led me to give you two plots of land i said who are you he said it's not important brothers and sisters how do you explain this don't say it's because you're a man of god no no this is what i want you to see it's not because of that grace say after me grace grace where god opens doors for you that you cannot explain i was sitting quietly in my house someone came with a generator that is also an inverter a very mighty gigantic generator and said it's a seed how do you explain this please i hope i don't sound arrogant i'm sorry if i do i just want you to hear these testimonies to provoke you that there is a dimension of grace that you can step into the hand of the lord the wisdom of god on common levels of insight where god will lead you to things lead you to places god will make people to serve you that you cannot explain are you listening to me every time every time you seek him grace and peace is multiplied but let me tell you when this dimension comes into your life does that mean i don't study my bible does that mean i don't stay in the presence of god does that mean i'll not be diligent with the understanding of god's principles no you see why we taught that before teaching the message of grace because a lot of people just say ah it's a license for laziness so you don't read your book in class say no problem grace will speak for me no sit down and read do well are you listening to me but i want you to know that the beauty of christianity is that there is grace hmm. the grace of god the wisdom of god you're sitting down and certain blessings just step in to come and meet you listen i want you to believe what i'm sharing with you you need it in this wicked nigeria that we live in you need the grace of god paul said i am what i am everybody say it i am what i am by the grace of god So the more we see God, many of you don't know what happens to you when you stand in this atmosphere of worship. As you are standing, you may not feel anything, but grace is being multiplied. Grace. The time you would have spent doing something else while you are worshiping God, grace is multiplied unto you. Grace is multiplied. Never take the presence of God as a waste of time. One day of favor will give you what a lifetime of labor will not give you for 430 years they were in captivity in one day they spoiled the egyptians they left with gold they left with everything one day are you listening to me one day of god's uncommon grace unusual grace where the hand of god comes upon your life You must believe in this grace dimension you must believe that there is a walking this is what see god planned that your life will be easy that's why he added grace without grace boy life is difficult there are people that struggle in ministry 
struggle in every area of life realize that as a believer you can tap into the grace of God many of our parents do not know this when they sat them they say hey, hey, life has finished hold on there is a fountain of grace there is a fountain of grace have you seen that there are many people this is why many times when god wants you to step into certain blessings he causes you to begin to worship and praise him he says forget about the problem you are multiplying grace every time you are doing that suddenly the dimension of grace you have cannot give you the result so god says leave that trouble come worship me now you are dancing you are sweating you are dancing you are sweating you don't even know what is happening the moment grace multiplied grace multiplied grace is multiplied suddenly you step out and your miracle is waiting right in front of you you cannot explain it the grace of god do you believe what i'm teaching you we're going to pray i know we're out of time but i need you to step into this dimension where your life becomes a fearful epistle of testimonies that not even you can attest to that when people hear they say it's a lie it's not true it's a lie it's not true i told god i said lord one of the things you will do in my life is to make my life an epistle of wonder there are some people who are the signs and wonders they don't do it i and the children that the lord has given me we are for signs and wonders where god will produce amazing things in your life brothers and sisters watch out you will see the operation of grace in the lives of people in this place that will make you fear are you listening to me by the grace of god we don't stage manage testimonies here you will hear testimonies that will cause you testimonies that will make you fear the grace of god you apply for a scholarship late you are the only one who will get it they say what did you do you enter the, the 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 interview hall you were not even concentrating you are sure of only 16 questions you answered correctly but you are the only person they call how can you explain this grace i give you a name to the mystery you have been seeing in your life that you cannot understand it's called the grace of god so every time you come for koinonia one of the things that god does in your life is what he multiplies grace this is one big secret in my life you never get me too busy to be out of the presence of God. It has become my life. I will die. Grace. The grace of God can end one captivity, captivity for years in your family in one day. Don't you undermine the power of grace. Are you listening to me? Somebody can come from nowhere and say he wants to marry your sister. No prayer, no laying on of hands, no sowing of seed. He just says... He, captivity someone will come and get a car key and give your father or just come and take a house build a house and say sir the lord told me this that i should sow it to you if you do not believe in this dimension of christianity you'll be in for a root shock we are going to pray rise up on your feet this is the message the lord gave me tonight the end of teachings and admonitions and buildings is that the word of god begins to produce results you are encouraged when your christianity bears fruit grace it says you will conquer the mountain at the shout of grace grace go ahead and say lord i activate your unmerited access i've gotten the things i deserve let me get the ones i do not deserve doors of ministry doors of blessings and prosperity grace and peace paul said i am what i am pray you will get it god is not playing games with you pray will soon be out of here but pray you're not wasting your time hallelujah pick your bibles deuteronomy chapter 6 let me show you something oh there is this operation in the kingdom of god deuteronomy chapter 6 
I hope we have believers in this place. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Are you there? Verse 10. I don't know about you, but every time I see any blessing that looks like mine, I will receive it with faith in my spirit. People may laugh at you. They will not laugh at you when you, they see the result. The end of every argument is results. Verse 10. Are you there? And it shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which is sworn to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Read on. To give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not. Stop. Is it in your Bible? Is it in your Bible? It's not in your lecture notes. It's in the word of God that cannot fail. There is that provision in the word of God. Next verse. 11. Are you ready to read? One to read. And houses full of good things which thou fillest not. And wells dig which thou diggest not. Vineyards and olive trees which thou plantest not. When thou shalt have eaten and food. Hold on. Wells you didn't dig. Well can be anything. Boy oil well. Gas well. Anything. Well is well. Whatever name your faith gives well. Don't just say these people are excited. No. We are serious people. We are making our boast in the Lord. That this is the heritage of the sons in light. We are not irresponsible people. We are not lazy people. We will not neglect the place of responsibility. But can you lift up your voice tonight and speak this scripture. Say Lord this is in your word. I provoke this dimension of grace. My life will be an epistle of signs wonders god will do it i assure you god will do it god will do it he told me he will do it god will do it houses you did not build you will hear fearful testimonies upon this altar jobs you did not work for the mouth of the lord has spoken it his hand will establish it prosperity beyond your imagination prosperity beyond your imagination levels of grace levels of restoration levels of his oil upon your life you will step in anointings beyond your prayer life beyond your word life invitations to minister in strange places men are blessing you by grace Come on, prophesy. Say, by grace, I'm lifted by grace. I'm anointed by grace. I prosper by grace. I increase by grace. I enlarge by grace. Pray. Grace and peace be multiplied. Grace and peace be multiplied. Grace and peace. Take the word of God seriously. He will show himself strong. He will show himself strong. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Grace. Opportunities by grace. Connections by grace. Lifting by grace. Hayaya. Mamba papopakete. Where your life will be an epitome of grace. Your testimony will be grace, 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 grace. Unmerited access. Access that I do not deserve. In your job, promotion by grace. In ministry, a new level by grace. In your home. Hallelujah. Prophesy over your family. Say, Lord, grace. What my prayer cannot do. I have tried. I have prayed. I have spoken the word. Step in. The worship team has a song that they usually sing. They say, Lord, step in. Lord, step in. Lord, step in. Concerning that marriage issue, let grace step in. Come on, try grace. Try grace and see the wonders of grace.
the wonders of grace in your academics prophesy over your exam grace prophesy over your admission grace grace you have read your best you have done your best grace in the name of Jesus grace you write your exams by grace you write your exams by grace final year students you finish by grace hallelujah God is a God of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of God and more can be achieved in one month with God than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with God he said for with God all things without God outside of God there are things that are not possible apostle my life I don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side I must make sure that I build a house now I must and God is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be Lord of your life I say Lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful Satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on Friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together God is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if God does not lead me I'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the Lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people will say I'm I'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the Bible says except the Lord built a house listen very carefully it says they labor in vain build it except the Lord watches over a city man of God listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my Bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow I'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the Bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. Now, there are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus come and direct me give me direction 
are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribe to the direction of god your life may look controversial for a while but all that will be before you is beauty and glory then your life will become beulah and hepzibah the delight of the nations the excellency of waiting the hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait it's easy to rush it's easy to do a lot of things you will make more mistakes in your life rushing there is power in waiting are we together there is power in waiting we're going to pray for the sick now there's a lot to do tonight but listen very carefully if this message is for you then i want you to receive it from the depth of your heart you know when we come like this there are various things that the lord is doing to several people not everyone is sick not everyone is oppressed but a word can come and god says be careful there are people about to relocate now to regions they've not sought god they just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to labs because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern appreciate and reward value that's all they have a greater propensity to discern to appreciate and to reward value you can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and he will come to you and bless you are we together now how many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we're going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer I want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on Friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now I promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of God is an opportunity to watch Lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can I learn you must remain a student we're all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting God for a healing miracle if you are an overflow one now hold on I want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are an overflow one two or three please I want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting God for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you're here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesize to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife creator of the universe what can you do what can you do
look at me. You see, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. I'm not trying to embarrass this precious lady. I don't know you. I'm just seeing you for the first time. I'm not a woman. So I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here. But for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes where are you coming from madam let me tell you there is a God that sits in heaven God is not a herbalist he's a miracle worker put your hand on your stomach look at me shout Jesus as loud as you in the name of Jesus father that's all right I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes the God that doeth wonders brand new fallopian tubes I say it again brand new fallopian tubes madam allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital give jesus praise please help this woman it's an elderly woman help her help her social in the name of jesus mama god is delivering you in jesus name The Lord is showing me somebody. It's just hold on. You will, you will sing. You will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone. The power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now, on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please sing for us that song, Creator of the Universe. Creator of the Universe, what can you do? What can you do?
looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing fibroid. Is that true? How long? Seven years. Fibroid. Confirmed in the hospital. That devil is going to leave you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have children, ma? I've not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God, Almighty God.
everyone say after me in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus i prophesy over the next half of this year hear the word of the lord become for me seasons of signs and wonders lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray everyone make sure you are praying make sure you are praying of signs and wonders seasons of signs and wonders hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus please let's be serious say in the name of jesus every dimension of grace every dimension of the anointing required for my next level of exploits i receive it tonight in jesus name open your mouth and please pray Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned One more time. Everything Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare. Oh, my God. 
in the name of Jesus Christ say it again in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over my loved ones hear the word of the Lord this is your season of rising lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones please believe what you are saying prophesy I decree and declare in the name of Jesus this is your season of rising a new level a new dimension in the spirit says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might just be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory Jesus I decree and declare that my help comes from above I decree and declare that my help comes from the Lord and in this season I prophesy to my destiny Ebenezer receive the help of God lift your voice and pray come for help
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was he praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Carmel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i'd like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny help us please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was you praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at butchery my god arise for me as a helper Shaka barakatosh, shaka taka 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 taka, rakata barakatosh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shama sonda barakatosh ya taka taka. Help for my family, O God. We cry for your help. Pray for your business. Arise, O God, as a helper. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen, you are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> In Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they would not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Help, oh God. Shabakatos, Shabros Ketabarakatos, Shanamakata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult. You have met that. No, no, no. It must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. All ministry, hear the word of the Lord. All business, hear the word of the Lord. All destiny, hear.
hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, Have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, we know that birth is nine months. But something can happen to the rod of Aaron and it can burn overnight with no root. I like you to say, Lord, let the supernatural work in my life in this season. Business at a supernatural rate. Ministry at a supernatural rate. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Ejimi, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we are not here to waste time Brothers and sisters, this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom. Are we together? It says to not be ignorant of the devices, the methodologies from the word stratomai, the methodology of Satan. There are methods. He said, do not let your good be evil spoken of. Have you seen that that's a method? That I call you and Satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm. I just call you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just they don't, please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God 
to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw they didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of god god began to speak to him at the end of it it was him that escorted me out say ah, ah you are you are you know my friend they collected my i said look at this man would have missed this miracle brothers and sisters some of our loved ones you know what i'm saying are like that their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years they organize a program near your house and they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened they be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry yes no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the sun arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the sun arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together I want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adulam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached say, no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa, there is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation. When you, when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship, you can't give. But if it's freely you received, it freely you will give. Are we together? Your destiny is one helper away. By the privilege of God's grace, I've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people. And overnight, they got jobs without interview. Just because I happen to know someone in a position of influence. And I say, sir, please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken he's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of God there are pastors that need the help of God you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help Please hear what I'm telling you. Do you know if you do things alone and by yourself, you are not blessed? Even if you succeed in doing it. Help. Help. That God arises for a man and say, young men establish within 10 years, but I have chosen promise that in one month, I will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of God or not. I told him, I said, no, that, that is a foolish, that is a foolish concern. Are you seeing, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list. You are now seeking whether it's the will of God, going behind. What is there to ask whether it's the will of God or not? Listen, I know that it looks like it's just a joke, but it's a serious issue. How many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help? No help. Ask the medical doctors, they will tell you. You buy a car alone. You look for food alone. You walk alone. You seek counsel by yourself. You advise yourself. No helper. You see people moving like Cain all around. Nobody to help. Nobody to advise you. Their pastor, Pastor Bolaji. Do you know sometimes Pastor Bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to plead your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw it's because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors turn trouser turn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he said but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so in my life Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead that Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are god all by yourself you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back 
with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the negative I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and Isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of Jesus Christ it says thou causest men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declare, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah Paradventure, adventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done you've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle I have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire and I'm saying I need Jesus if you belong to any of these categories I like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia are you appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 